morning guys uh, heading to uh, the chemical guys chemical guys garage um, they have a little event going on I have to see what's going on check out uh, the neighborhood everybody will be there I see a black challenger behind me I wonder if he's going to the same event um, that water filter I got I left it on my hose it froze last night split I went to use it this morning split so uh, I need to uh, remember to bring them in it's gonna get real cold. Hi right, guys, see you in a little bit. While we are here, look at the turnout. My goodness gracious. And it was I had to laugh because a Mustang was pulling out and everybody was filming them, so you got a remote control car. <laughs> Check this out. I gotta find a place to park here. This is crazy. Wow. Yeah. I wanna park next to the Challenger. Alright, later. I bought this from uh, Westgate. What a turnout here. A perfect spot with all the other Mopars. This is the one I wanted to buy. He bought it before I could get there. I wouldn't have had to go to South Carolina if it was there. He got it with the red interior. Hey, how's it going? He's got the same car. <laughs> He's got the red interior. Look at these. Some of these cars are pretty nice.
give me a thumbs up on this one. A bunch of Miatas here now. I guess, I guess you gotta get here early if you want the prime spot. I wish I had a zoom on this camera.
Cars and Coffee event. It was what a turnout. We got some really nice cars. Well, you saw. Um, now we're going to head over to Costco, but we're going to get a bite to eat. Um, yeah, one guy, I didn't get it on film, but um, he was just revving his motor, showing off the engine. Wasn't going anywhere. Car was in neutral. Just revved it a couple times. It was pretty loud. And as a cop was pulling up, when the cop wrote him a ticket, he said it was $268. He's at a car show, he revved the engine, $268. So, uh, I don't know, he was from out of town. I don't know, it was just uh, really disheartening. <laughs> you know, I'm to show off, look. Somebody else was revving his engine, I got that on film, but I guess it's just who you are and where you are and the situation, I guess. I think it's because he did it right in front of the cop, maybe. But he didn't know that the cop was there. But anyway, I uh, had a good time, saw uh, Drago there. Drago, if you're watching, <laughs> um, and a few other people that had seen my videos. Thanks, you guys, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, heading over to Costco here, see what's going on. Just don't know what to have for lunch. But it's a beautiful day. Look at this. It is awesome out here. Look at this guy. Doesn't get any better. All right, we did our Costco run. Got my chicken. <laughs> you wouldn't understand unless you're a Costco uh, member. But you gotta get that rotisserie chicken. Picked up some New York strip steaks. Haven't had red meat in ages. Uh, picked up a couple other things. Picked up some canned goods in case this uh, SARS virus thing uh, that they call Corona becomes some big problem. I do not want to go out in the public for a while. But if you notice over in China, it became an epidemic and those people will cover up. I don't see anybody covering here in the States. 15 day incubation period. I don't know if you're contagious during that 15 days. That's something we need to know. Does that mean that somebody who doesn't seem like they have the virus, no symptoms, is spreading it? I don't know. That'd be a bad, really bad day. Anyway, it is what it is. And it's a beautiful day here in North Carolina. It's always a good day in North Carolina. <laughs> All right, see you in a little bit. Alright guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, <clears throat> I had a good time. There was a lot of good cars there. A lot different crowd than I'm used to seeing. I thought it was, uh, it was pretty good. I, I saw some people that I knew, of course, but uh, there were a lot of other vehicles that I hadn't seen before that I thought was really good. Um, tight parking spots. I'm going to give you some of the things I didn't like. Tight parking spots. Chemical guys that put on the event. Thanks for the coffee. Thanks for the music. But um, no restrooms. You know what happens after you drink coffee, right? Um, there was a set of people over to McDonald's. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but it was it was a good event. <clears throat> there was a guy. He revved his engine right as the cop was pulling up, and uh, the cop wrote him a ticket, two hundred and sixty bucks. He said two hundred and sixty-eight bucks or whatever. He stopped from around here. So he was kind of bummed out about that. But, I mean, I understand noise complaints. But I thought of, like, a noise complaint like 50 bucks. You know, he wasn't moving. Car was in neutral. Wow. Unbelievable. That's just crazy. Really, um, that that's, I think, a little over the top. But anyway, um, yeah, just kind of going through. Getting, uh, getting this stuff rendered out. I'll probably do this in 4K. Uh, or 2.7K, maybe. That's what I filmed out with this camera. Um, yeah, let me know, you guys. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Um, pretty neat. I uh, Also, I picked up some, you know, I'm in the gadgetry, right? Picked up a uh, scanner, police scanner, Uniden Home Patrol 2. The first one I bought came broken out of the box. I told him to replace it. And then I said, uh, I, after I ordered it, the replacement, I thought maybe I should get a different one. So I ordered a different one. Now I got two, and I'm going to return one of them. Um, could be that one again, the second one. But uh, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So if you're into this stuff want to see what they can do, um, yeah, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and, uh, and check out that video. Uh, as you know, I'm into ham radio. So it should be pretty good. Um, each one of these scanners just briefly, uh, has some good and bad to them and I'll, and I'll highlight that. That's what's making such a difficult decision on which one to send back. 
But anyway, hope you guys uh, had a good uh, good weekend. I know I did. It was great. It was too short. I'm, uh, I got Friday off next week, though, because I'm on call this week. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a great one. I'll talk to you a little later. Thanks. Bye.